Started as a massive search effort by area dive teams ended tragically tonight on the west side. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tanya Spencer. A little girl is dead after going into a lake at an apartment complex near West 38th Street and I-465. RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet is live at the Bayhead Apartments where it all happened just a few hours ago. Ebony. That's right, Tanya. I'm standing in front of the body of water where witnesses say they saw this eight year old girl fall. It's also where they heard her screaming out for help before they say she was suddenly gone. Just after 7 p.m., first responders from multiple agencies launch a search for an eight year old girl here at the Bayhead Apartments in Wayne Township. I was just praying that, you know, the child wasn't in the lake. Parents, including the mother of the missing child, look on as divers comb the man-made pond. Well, I didn't know what was going on until I found out, you know, it was a little girl in the lake, so, you know, my heart was pretty much pounding, you know, that's, that's real sad. Fire officials say the murky water filled with debris impedes efforts. It doesn't take long for visibility. If it is any good, uh, once the divers start working in, in that type of environment, it kicks up a lot of silt in the bottom and the visibility can continue to drop. So then it becomes a matter of, of feeling with your hands uh, every, every foot of that pond. Witnesses say the girl was near the pond looking for something. Others say they saw her in the water and heard her calling for help before losing sight of her. There, were, there was witnesses uh, on the scene that did try to assist. Uh, but without knowing her exact location, that made it very difficult for uh, individuals in the apartment complex trying to help with a rescue. After about an hour, the team recovers the missing child. Officials say she was immersed in about 10 feet of water and unresponsive. Yes, they need to put a fence around these lakes, you know, be too many little kids, and it don't take nothing but a second for them to, you know, something to happen like this. First responders rushed this young girl to Riley Hospital for Children. They say she was in critical condition at the time and subsequently passed away. Reporting live in Wayne Township, I'm Ebony Monet for RTV6. So